Hi, I'm Zia Scaraval from ZK Research, and I'm live at Jitex 2022. Uh, this is the largest techno tech show in the world. I'm here at the Extreme Network stand. Extreme has made a, a, a tremendous amount of innovation over the last few years, and I'm going to go in the stand. I'm going to take a look. They got a new way of demoing the products. They tell me. So let's go in and have a look. So I'm here now with Dewal Botha. He's a senior systems engineer for Extreme Networks. Dewal, why don't you say hi to everybody? Hello, everybody. So at your stand here, you've got this new way of demonstrating your products. Can you just give me a quick overview of how it works? Absolutely. Well, it's quite simple. We actually have these small RFID tag cubes. And with these cubes, we ask our customers to come put them down. For example, we've got one on Extreme Cloud IQ, which is our network management platform in the cloud. And all we do is we just pop it down and what it will do is give us a sneak peek of the key fundamentals about Extreme Cloud IQ, being able to manage it from your palm of your hand all the way to small networks and even larger networks in the enterprise. Okay, so I noticed you have one, two, three, four, five of these magic cubes. Five cubes, And yeah. so why don't we go through each one of them? And so Absolutely. I did want to ask you a little bit about, I, I understand you have one of the cubes is for the Liverpool. Uh, yes, win that is. you just had. That's pretty exciting. Very. I, I know from a social perspective, you know, if you tweet Liverpool, there's millions of engagements possibly. So Indeed. Uh, explain what you're doing in Liverpool. Well, what we are doing is with Liverpool is we actually are the technology provider on the Wi-Fi side for their stadium. And this is kind of the small promo that we prepared for, for them as well. I mean, as you know, we are very active in all the different yes. sports stadiums with NFL and MLB as well. And this is one of our latest kind of partnerships that we've done. Yeah, I know. In fact, um, I was talking with your chief marketing officer, Wes Duro, about this, that all the, when you think of the big iconic stadiums around the world, LA Memorial, Fenway Park, Lambeau Field, Liverpool, Old Trafford Stadium, yeah, yeah. Uh, Olympic Stadium, uh, they're all extreme customers. Absolutely. Right? And, and that's kind of exciting because those, in some ways, it's easy to build good Wi-Fi in a brand new stadium. Doing it in these old stadiums is, is quite difficult. It is quite a challenge, yeah. but obviously we rely on the analytics as well as yeah. being a user-centric design. Yeah. Now, I believe, uh, 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 you know, in there, I'm not sure if you're putting Wi-Fi 6 or 6E in, but uh, you've got a demo here for that as well. So that's Absolutely. a relatively new technology. It is. I get asked about it a lot, what's there in the 6 and 6E, and so can this magic display tell us that? Well, indeed it can, Zeus. <laughs> so obviously, key fundamentals in Wi-Fi technology, when we started, Wi-Fi was super congested and slow in 2.4 gigahertz. Yeah. We then went into 5 gigahertz. A little bit better, but you know what? It's not the key. With Wi-Fi 6E, we're entering the super highway of wireless, having clean air spectrums versus what we used to do in Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 5 and below. Yeah, that, so that doesn't mean the old lanes go away. So I've got an old no. device. I can stand my slow, crappy connection. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Wi-Fi 6E is not going to replace everything overnight, but in actual fact, it just merges into that new spectrum on our existing access points. And what kind of benefits do you see customers get as they, they tried it out? First of all, it's a clean spectrum, yeah. right? So there's very little interference from other devices in the network, giving us super high speeds on the wireless connectivity through that clean spectrum. And that's the main benefit, right? Being able to have high-speed applications, high-speed use cases on Wi-Fi like we have not had before in the past. It is an absolute game changer in the wireless space. Yeah, and I'm certainly, if, uh, if, you're, if you're a customer and you're watching this and you're thinking about upgrading Wi-Fi, there's no reason not to look at 6E. Absolutely, yeah. we still support all the older spectrums on our access points. Now, what, now uh, although we talk a lot about wireless and wireless is exciting, yeah. we still have to backhaul everything to a wired network. Absolutely. Right, and uh, one of the more unique products in the industry, at least from my perspective, is Extreme's Fabric Connect. And so I'd like to see the Magic Cube for that because that's a, uh, it's, it's a very interesting way of running a network. 100% correct. Now, one of the key ways of how do we demonstrate or how do we talk about Fabric Connect yeah. is we remind people that in the old days, we used to build networks on multiple protocol stacks. And what Extreme Cloud I or Extreme Fabric Connect does is it simplifies all of this into an implicit automated protocol called Fabric Connect. And then when we integrate that into our networking, we can then provide this automated layer of networking providing implicit automation, intelligence, and obviously being able to hyper-segment the entirety of the network. So all those protocols you showed that were all over the place, I no longer need those. Absolutely not. I mean, you can still use them if you really wanted to, but the key fundamental here is with Fabric Connect, we can simplify the entire network protocol stack into one and provide that implicit automation that will bring costs down, that will bring the troubleshooting of a network significantly faster as well. Well, what does that old school engineer do then? 
Whereas in the old school engine, you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's quite simple. Instead of fighting every day to keep the lights on and putting out all the fires in the network, they can then focus on providing you know, more business insights into IT and how IT or the network itself can provide further business benefits to the company instead of just you know, plugging in, plugging out and troubleshooting all day long. Okay, so we talked Wi-Fi, we talked Fabric Connect. Now, as good as your network technologies are, uh, without being able to manage it effectively. Absolutely. You know, what, the, it, we're only so effective. So, uh, what do you do for management? Well, on the management side of things, we've got a product called Extreme Cloud IQ. Now, you can't manage what you can't see, right? <laughs> and we provide Extreme Cloud IQ from a mobile device and in the web browser. And it's the most deployed network management solution in the entire globe with ISO rated security certifications. And from this platform, we can gain insights, analytics on devices and users, and fully manage our entire network, even if it is third party. Oh, so you can actually manage your competitor products. Well, what we do is we've got another product which is part of the Extreme Cloud IQ family called Site Engine. And Site Engine is an on-prem full network orchestrator that can manage third party devices. And we then plug that into the cloud to give visibility of the entire network, irrespective of what vendor it is. Now, with a name like Cloud IQ, IQ would uh, mean intelligent quotient, means it's a little smart. Am I, inf and so I'm, I'm inferring there might be some AI built into this as well. Oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> what would the cloud be without AI, right? Yeah. So what we have is we've got a product, part of Extreme Cloud IQ called Copilot. Now it's part of an AI and machine learning algorithm, and what it does is it learns from the network all the events, obviously all the uh, statistics from the network devices, the clients, the ports, all of this, and what it will actually do is recommend to you what is the best configuration for that device. So if you had, for example, a lot of port inefficiencies, you know, you're plugging in uh, into a gigabit port, maybe a 100 meg device, Copilot will actually remind you and say, hey, there's a device plugged in that's inefficient, we can maybe change the configuration. And it does that for wired and for wireless. Okay, so more data with okay. analytics and AI makes me smarter, faster, and a better network engineer. Absolutely. So this thesis that AI is going to kill the engineer's job is actually false. It's going to make an engineer a super engineer. 100% uh, yeah. correct. Yeah. So the last piece of the puzzle I want to talk about here is it's a relatively new product for Extreme. It's from an acquisition uh, to Resty WAN. Right, so uh, it's, a, it's a nice extension off the network. Uh, give us a, a little look at what you're doing SD-WAN well, here. One of our magic cubes talks about yeah. SD-WAN, right? Now what we do with SD-WAN is we focus primarily on application visibility, application control, and bandwidth management. Now typically in any other network, you'd have all of these applications running across the WAN, irrespective of what the endpoint is from HQ to the branch. And what we do with our SD WAN solution is we learn about all these applications. We then prioritize them into their individual groups, saying this is streaming media or business critical applications. And then by giving them priorities, bandwidth assignments, latency and jitter uh, SLA agreements, essentially, we're then able to control the applications across the entirety of the WAN infrastructure. Again, managed all from Extreme Cloud IQ. Well, Single good. pane of glass. Yeah, well, so all that data is now visible at once. Uh, whether it's wireless, wired WAN, mm. right? And uh, I think that one of the things that I've written a lot about is the fact that uh, when you think of application performance, uh, the application has to go all the way from the cloud to the device. Mm. And it doesn't care that your network is broken up into campus network, data center network, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And so if you can manage it all at once, now I can have a, a better user's eye view of what's going on. Yeah. yeah. Look, it's all about the user experience, right? Yeah. As we move into the new age of IT, essentially, it's focused around the users themselves. So what we're able to provide is visibility and insight of the user from where they connect at the edge, across into the WAN itself, and across to the other side in the other branch. So it's a full end-to-end -end visibility uh, solution to manage the entirety of the network, as well as gain application analytics from all the users. All right, Noel, well, thanks for that demo. Absolute can you, pleasure. Can you juggle these? I wish I could, I wish I could. <laughs> All right, anyways, so I'm Zias Caravalo, live from Jitex. I'm here at the Extreme booth. Thanks for watching on the ZK Tour. Don't forget to click subscribe, and I'll see you next time.